Hello students of Standard 10. Welcome once again to this YouTube channel of Mount Mauritia. I am here with your same chapter in Social Science History, Nationalism in India. We have gone through up to Civil Disobedience Movement in the last video where I have told, taught you about the effect of about the effect of civil disobedience movement and how the civil dis disobedience movement gradually been taken away by Gandhiji and when in the next phase he wanted to make it widespread nobody has followed but today I am just going to recapitulate few of the important topics which I have already taught you. Out of that, one is Jallianwala Bagh incident. Very important. Do you remember that? Jallianwala Bagh, it was taken place on 14th April at Amritsar. So, whenever you will visit there, you will understand what was the situation created at that time due to the arrogancy of General Dyer, who wanted to create a panic of AWE and terror in the minds of Satyagrahis, who has came to Amritsar, assembled there in the to celebrate Baisakhi and to discuss or to have a meeting about the arrest of Mahatma Gandhi and some of the few leaders. They were unaware of the martial law imposed by General Dyer. There was only one exist, exit in the Jalian Walabad. It has been blocked by General Dyer and he has ordered his troops to open fire, killing hundreds and enjoyed hundreds and hundreds of people. Many Indians Many Indians, big personalities, reparketed against it. Now, the total, all Indians from different, in different parts of the country, every Indian from different parts of the country, started agitating against the Jalianwalabad incident. Many big personalities has returned the awards which have been given by the British authorities to them. This agitated Indians mind resulting in strikes. They started different strikes, clashes with the Britishers, British officers, attacks government buildings and started doing all type of non-violence activities. Now, one more important topic we have gone through about Simon Commission. You remember Simon Commission? It has came in February 1928. The Statutory Commission under Sir John Simon set up in India in 1928 is in response to the nationalist movement and the statutory commission of Simon, John, Sir, Sir John Simon, has been started due to the different types of movements and revolutions which have started in our country by different groups, organizations, parties. Although there was only one, there was only one party, Congress Party, but there were many good leaders. They formed their own political or their organizations, they started movements in different parts of the country. Sir John, Sir John Simon has been sent to India to make a new constitution for India and look into the functioning of the constitutional system in India and suggest some changes which will be acceptable by all the Indians. Very good decisions taken by the government, but British government, but the commission has only British members. The commission is going to make rules and regulations 
न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉर इंडिया तो इट शुड हैव सम इंडियन पीपल गुड पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ इंडिया हु न्यू अबाउट इंडिया वाई दे हैव केम दे हैव केम टू आवर कंट्री टू मेक न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच विल बी एक्सेप्टेड बाई कॉमन पीपल एंड नॉट एंड विल स्टॉप रेवल्यूशन मूवमेंट so what the indians wanted that indian people can only understand but in that commission there were no indian all members were of british also the clauses of this commission did not contain any hope of swaraj clauses means the whatever the contents were there in the new commission there were no such provisions in which it has been told that means there were no provisions which which can assure the indians that at last swaraj will be there means india will get independence this was followed by a strike in bengal on february 3rd 1928 so when simon commission arrived in our india india in 1928 it was greeted with the slogan go back simon this was very important slogan go back simon it became very famous to pacify indians the viceroy lord irwin announced in october 1929 dominion status for india in an unspecified future and a round table conference was held to discuss a future constitution what is this dominion status dominion status means india will become india can become independent india is will be given independence but rules and regulations will made by the british government itself is it called independent no so indians did not want it this dominion status what they wanted purna swaraj so these two topics are very important in this chapter which i have gone through this is the recapitulation once again so in my next video i will go through whatever i have taught after that that is after civil disobedience movement thank you